you don't you, you don't do this. You don't you don't you don't you don't come and do this. You don't you don't do the panels. You don't do and not because you got big or whatever. You didn't do it. You just don't do it. Why did you do this one? Because I think that um, there are so many misconceptions of who Juanita Bynum is and so much, uh, so many things that, that transpired that I wanted to, I felt that it was time for me to uh, take the opportunity to bring clarity to my person and to my ministry. And, um, and besides, when you asked me, uh, I felt like it was the right time. I never give interviews. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I go on TBN in different mm -hmm. places and I, you know, I host and I, mm -hmm. I talk about the things of God but never really talk about me because I've never felt uh, until now that um, I needed to explain or I, I needed to bring clarity. I wanted to let them know that it was all well with my soul and that I was not a person that is... Um, uh, ministering out of bitterness and, mm. and, and unforgiveness and, and issues, but um, I was headed to my next assignment, and, and, and through this transition, the Lord, uh, he moved me to the next dimension of where he is calling me to operate in, and it was important to me that they see that and feel that, and when you asked me to do it, I, I prayed about it like I pray about everything, and uh, I felt that it was time. So with no reservations? No reservations. So did you think now, what is George Bloomer going to say? No, I, I didn't shake. I wasn't, I wasn't nervous at the point of, of um, what is he going to ask me? Because, I mean, because of my integrity, whatever you asked me, I was going to be uh, honest and true. And I was going to um, speak my heart. Mm -hmm. And so... When truth is in you, there's nothing to be nervous about. Amen. You know, there's nothing. So how was your questions? Um, I think they were, they were interested. I, I think you <laughs> stayed on the boyfriend thing too long. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think they were, um, they were fair, and I believe that they brought clarity. And, and even hearing me answer, you know, out of my own spirit, um, it blessed me because I know that it's what I, I feel all the way down in my soul. You know, it isn't just words off my lips. It's what's coming out of my heart. And it felt good to speak my heart for people to, outside of the robe, outside of a microphone, uh, outside of me preaching, to just hear the heart of Juanita Bynum. And this was my heart tonight. Happy, happy, whole, complete, excited, Dr. Juanita Bynum. Ladies and gentlemen, great tonight. It might hit that thing when you ask me a question and I look like I had a starved look. That thing will be with anticipation like crazy. I think that ought to be part of the commercial. Have you ever been in love? Huh? I think that ought to be part of the commercial. What? I got to commercial. When you asked the question and she said, let me take another drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that was a classic. That, that ought to be part of the commercial. That, that, was, that was classic. That, that, that was classic. <laughs> that, 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 God bless the certain people. I tell prophets. I've been married 30 years, or 30, going 30 years, 30 years. No, I, you know, I would look at the camera. No, I ain't never been in love. <laughs> and you sure would have been there. <laughs> if, you know, if God put, see, and that's why I, God don't put us in but I'm a situation because I catch a case and everybody. But how about that's a that's an answer right there that's stunning. What? As simple as it was. That's stunning. But that's her, and that's the difference between. But we agree, and we disagree, because there's a B, and then there's a morning. No, I ain't never been in love. <laughs> Call me. <laughs>